Okay, so compositing all together. Compositing uh, is is basically the workflow that that I use, and uh, in most productions, uh, it it's used. So of course, everything that I've been uh, saying up to this point has been leading to this moment where we take all the images, combine them together, and see the end result. Uh, one of the things that you're going to uh, want to always keep in mind is that the subdermal. Uh, a lot of the a lot of the times, uh, I see people messing around with uh, dialing in the subdermal. Realistically, the subdermal is not what needs to be dialed in. The subdermal is should is and should always be 100% because it is the innermost layer. Everything else that gets applied to it above it is what should be dialed uh, up or down. So, in this case, if I zoom in here, you're going to see that what I ended up doing was my subdermal was set to uh, to normal 100%. My dermal or the color was set to 90, and the specularity was set to soft light 30%. And the end result was this. Now, for the eyes, what I ended up doing was I basically just masked. I created a new material for the body that was a flat color black, and I uh, and I applied uh, to the subtools. I applied the my uh, reflection maps or my specularity maps. And then once I brought them into Photoshop, I basically selected the body, and uh, that eliminated the body, and I basically had just the, the eyes that I could apply. And I applied uh, layer one as a screen at uh, 25%, and I found that it didn't quite have enough depth, and it wasn't quite rich enough for me. So I duplicated that and just applied a linear light at 20%, and, uh, and that gave me this look. So if I go ahead and just go to the next frame, here's a little bit... Uh, a little bit closer look of uh, the object and you can see that I was able to capture a lot of translucency in the skin and uh, and get a lot of depth to the eyes and this took me all of about an hour to do uh, in terms of uh, the rendering process from uh, from when when I started rendering and these are all uh, fairly large renders they're about 4k renders so the uh, the speed that this uh, that this imparts to me as an artist allows me to get the ideas out of, uh, you know, get from a meeting with an art director, director, producer, get their ideas, uh, push it through my brain, output, you know, the visual language as best I can and get it back to them within a couple of hours. And, uh, and that really makes the process invaluable because it, it, uh, it makes it a very uh, dynamic way and, uh, and, uh, and it doesn't stagnate the creation process. So uh, really fabulous, and I, uh, I uh, highly suggest it. I, you know, of course, I could have spent two weeks in a 3D app, applying a shader, dialing numbers, doing this, doing that, trying to get it just the way I wanted it to, but the end result I don't think would have been any better. I think uh, uh, clearly this gave me an, an end result that... Uh, that is just as good as any other 3D app, if, if not better because of the speed.